Do you like high pressure situations that have little to no impact on real life? Do you get extremely mad at inanimate objects like dice or cards? Have you looked at your best friend and thought, I don't even know you anymore? Then you need some board games in your life. At BoardGameBliss.com, they have over 4,000 games to choose from and daily deals with amazing discounts. Go to BoardGameBliss.com and get angry at some dice. That makes way more sense. LA's yellow? Holy crap, that was close. Hi, welcome to another episode of House Rules here on Tech Geek Gamers, a board game playthrough show. On. I'm one of your hosts, Co Corey Rob. I'm, I'm, I'm one of your hosts, Corey Rob, again. We've, we've... They're married. I'm Corey, Corey, this is Rob, Rob, Jeff, Tara, Mark, and Chris. And on House Rules, we play up through a board game, and we don't change the rules... But we do break them, and if you catch us on a, a us breaking a rule, leave a comment below. We take a shot. We're currently out of booze, so go to Patreon.com/techiegamers and you can buy us the next bottle. The next bottle, if you want, yeah. Or throw us a few bucks, you can get uh, our uh, Imperial Assault playthrough, which you're currently doing, or uh, other perks and goodies. Did I screw up? You're laughing. Did I screw up somewhere? No, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Because he said Imperial Assault, and he just remembers bending his no, over the desk. No, 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 no. It was his like <laughs> slow wind up. Like I'm not gonna let myself screw up. I'm gonna get this right. <laughs> All right. So today we're playing Fun Employed. Fun Employed. See, I like it when the box is right here. I don't forget the name of the <laughs> Fun. game. You're welcome. Employed. <laughs> the party game of real jobs and unreal qualification. Okay. So the point of this job or game is to get a jo points like Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. We're going to play so everybody is the employer once. That's mm -hmm. right. Person mm -hmm. with the most points win. Otherwise, this game could go on forever, and sometimes this game just dies really quick. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the real way to play is you insert one card in there called My Job, mm -hmm. and when that gets to the top, that's the last round. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah. We took mm -hmm. that out. Cool. Yeah. And then you'd actually apply for whoever's job yep. that actually is. Unless it's Chandler Bing and you don't know what he does. That's a ah. Friends ah. reference. Remember Friends? Great show. I was alive in the 90s. Data management or something like okay, that? Okay, so I'm we're going to go Corey and around. What? <laughs> <laughs> Corey. Oh, yeah, I'm the first employer. Give us a job from so the top of the deck. I just reveal. You reveal yeah. and we go crazy. The job we're hire applying for is the queen. <laughs> no. Yes. God damn it. Uh, so they grab. So what the <laughs> point of this? Is, I can explain. Um, this is the open market, and what they have to do is they're going to try to create the best four card resume out of all the cards they have by swapping in and out uh, as a mad dash. There's no order oh, to this. Um, <laughs> the point is to try to create uh, an, uh, a funny or uh, uh, good resume. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> Furry you don't think furry's well, gonna go furry. The furry queen. Um, how long do we decide? Yeah, I was gonna say, how long do we take for this part? I think I'm good. So with that. It shouldn't take that long. You only have 14 options. So then, does it go go oh, cl clockwise? That one up? Unless yeah, somebody, you did. Yeah, you did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Figure it out, Jamal. Yeah, and then we'll go clockwise. So the queen of what? Is this the queen of England? Is this uh, this no, this is just the queen. queen. You're the this queen. 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 I believe it's a dancing queen. Nope. Is not dancing queen. It is just queen. Queen of the night. Mm. You grabbed the implants, didn't you? Mm. All right then. So uh, we're just going. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So uh, Rob, give yourself a little prepare here and. Solve what are you doing? Yeah. 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 Give me a SWAT analysis. Now, now I forgot what I was gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> SWAT. I love it. <clears throat> well, what's your strength, you, weakness? You off see, I'm, I'm here applying for the role of the queen. <laughs> I feel I'll fit in well as the queen of France with my French accent. I can't do a French accent, so I'll just stop <laughs> so now. You started, <laughs> started with English. English. <laughs> 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 Applying for the role of the Queen of France with my impeccable French accent, which lets you know that I am from France and should be hired as the Queen. Totally French. Now, there was a time that I was clinically depressed, and I knew that this is something I had to get over it. Now, in order to get over it, I knew that I had to uh, remove myself from my private jet. Now, by getting rid of the private jet, I was removing all of my own personal items to relinquish any responsibilities I had of my own private life so that I could better run a country, knowing that I had nothing else holding me back. And what this what this has actually allowed me to do with the selling off of my private jet, removing my clinical depression, again proving and showing my French accent, is I have allowed myself to gain diplomatic immunity in several countries, which means I can move about 
with uh, an enact diplomacy, but not get in any trouble when I do it. <laughs> but wouldn't the, would, wouldn't the queen have that built in? Sorry, there's no follow-up questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. No follow-ups. It's basically an email. Jeff. And that's my resume. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot shorter than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm up. Why are you yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Do you want me to turn the spotlight on you? Yeah. No, I'm just a little nervous. Hey, my hands. Tell me about yourself. How's yeah, your day? My hands are a bit clammy here. I just, I don't do well in interviews, but I, it's partially because I was drinking last night, so I'm struggling this morning. But the Queen of Ireland. You don't have any hash, do you? <laughs> I think it would help if I just got high. <laughs> <laughs> and see. You're high. Oh my god! <laughs> Best candidate ever. Awesome. <laughs> Jesus, I like that one. Ooh. That was great. Tara. Right. Was Tara. Name? Yes. Okay, well, to be the queen, one must be quite serious, so I have no sense of humor. I also only care for myself, so I'll look after my country before I look at the rest of the world, because fuck them. Um, the queen is always surrounded by multiple dogs, so I'm allergic, so I go with a hot dog close enough. <laughs> and also, I have the antidote. The antidote. The okay. Antidote. That's a good power. Cold stare. And <laughs> Shallow antidote. Right. Oh, yes. Okay. Perfect for being royalty. It's very queeny. So let me tell you why I'm the most qualified to be queen. A. I'm indecisive. <laughs> B. I'm a hot mess because of the box of wine I drank. Hi, Mom. And C, I'm deaf in one ear. <laughs> what queen needs both ears? Hire me. <laughs> uh, Jeff, Mark's over there. He might have some hash. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Speaking what? of my girl here. All right, the well. Is out in the yard getting high. You might be <clears throat> to be the queen, I felt that I needed power. And to, to get that power, I went in search of the Holy Grail. But I needed to crack some codes. So first, I had to get a decoder ring. So I'm in ownership of a decoder ring, which makes me a pretty big deal solving problems. In Jewelry, world. queen. Yeah, yeah, got you it. know. <laughs> and, and I've got my cup. I've got my ring. And on top of it, to find all this, a lot of the search had to happen at night. So I had to get implants that allowed me night vision. So I can pew, see pew, at night, pew, pew. I've got a decoder ring. You would make a great Indiana world. Jones. Yeah. With the tits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm applying to be a queen. Cool. <laughs> Tune in Tokyo. Mm, uh, I'm going to give queen to the stoner. Woo! Nice. Oh. nice. Come on. I'm English for fuck's sake. Uh, I, like, I like the way your cards played together. That was phenomenal. That was, that was. Oh yeah, I don't know if the market goes away each turn, but let's do it that way. Well, uh, there's a lot of cards. No, no, I already we have don't cards. change the rules. I already have cards. You just keep your cards. Yeah, I don't. Well, want... we do have a lot to pick from, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Uh, must be blank ones huh. in the deck. Uh, <laughs> so the you pick anything. Well, just get rid of those. No, it's when you want to make your own. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Take the game home, make your own. Okay. <clears throat> this time we have an Australian oh, accent for you, Rob. Oh, All right, <laughs> I would like one of you fine folks to apply to me to be a personal trainer. Oh, yeah, that one made sense. Yeah. Put that back there. I don't want this. What the hell does that mean? Oh, I'm good. Oh shit, British accent, where'd that come from? Flaming sword! <laughs> totally need that. No, monocle, we could have used that last round. What's that one close to Corey? Dyslexic. 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 <laughs> Dyslexic, duh. Uh, Blockalyx. Burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone well with the shade uh, one. Corey, put that one back, I want to I use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm Everybody good? good? Nope. What are we applying for? <laughs> a personal trainer. Person Unless you want right. to start with someone who's ahead of me in the line for interview. No, hurry up. No. no. Hurry no. up. We're, we're waiting hurry up, Jamo. Okay. Oh. You're going to have some bad luck in a second here, I think. Well, brownies would go a long way. Toast. I don't remember what this is, so I have to put it down. <laughs> <laughs> or get rid of it for something else. 
I know what it is. You know, when I'm hiring a personal is, trainer, I would love some brownies. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. Just going to throw that out there. there. Okay, this is... Oedipus, yeah, I think I remember his story. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's the mother lover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, mother lover. Freud loved him. Oh. oh that's way better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, foot fetish. Hmm. <sighs> I don't like this, but... We'll try it. What else does a personal trainer need than an Oedipus, uh, someone with an Oedipus complex and a foot fetish? Work out those oh. feet. Train Look my just feet. Just like your mom's feet. Okay, feet. so... Girl. Girl. I can train the shit out of you. <laughs> with oh my. my. <laughs> I'm ambidextrous. Mm. So I'll be spotting you on all angles. This is sounding mildly sexual. What? He's doing well. <laughs> I don't have a foot fetish or anything. If anyone told you that I had a foot fetish, don't just ignore what they said. I don't know anything about a foot fetish. It's important to know. But, but if you're into that, it's okay. I do have a flaming sword. I'll let you oh, decide what that, that means. <laughs> <laughs> how do you like them apples? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. He's a tough act to follow. So it's going it's, it's oh. so hot in here. It's like a sword's on fire. <laughs> Oh my god, so you totally found me through my online dating profile because I am so fucking fit and gorgeous. You totally want to be like this. Just so you know, I'm not that I'm totally amazing, but I am fucking amazing. So just like, if you do anything I tell you to do, you're going to look amazing. Um, I also believe that if you don't fucking listen to me, I will destroy you. <laughs> you're a shoe in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> oh, yeah? Crikey. Crikey. Let me tell you why I'm the best for your personal trainer. I hope Brent's watching this. Oh, my oh God. God. Because there's two things. There's, uh, I've got a fancy hat. <laughs> and I left my fly open so you can see my package. <laughs> personal oh, trainer. God. Personal trainer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. shit. So when do I start? Do you have a sword though? Because oh. how would that work? Let me tell you why I should be a personal trainer. I was the captain of my football team. <laughs> you know, big deal, obviously, in high school. Hi. But <laughs> once I got out of high school, I needed to find my spiritual self so i went and practiced buddhism for four years and meditated with the monks you know again that's a pretty big deal you know some other reasons why i should probably be a personal trainer is i really love girls in yoga pants <laughs> and recording them with my camera <laughs> 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 Like Buddhist John, where's he going with this? Oh, he's a creep. Yeah. Oh. You're the guy who's off the gears. Total pervert. There you go. I, uh, <clears throat> all right. Okay. <clears throat> Look, man, I was born on the streets, so I know how to get by in this apocalypse. The world is ending, and shit is going down! I also suffer from night terrors. <laughs> so every once in a while... I fall asleep and I start screaming about the burning bush. <laughs> but I will keep you fit! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Well, those, those, are, those are some uh, solid stuff. applicants, uh, but I feel like Mark had me crying. Oh, oh yeah. God oh, damn it! Oh, good. <laughs> fucking Ozzy. <laughs> Didn't even say anything about being a personal trainer. Yeah. You know? oh. Yeah, he did. He started off. Check out my dick. I'm, I'm hiring. It is entirely subjective to me. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but my half psycho fit. Uh, you oh, were a close the? second, yeah, Sarah. That was good. I was gonna say I've never not wanted to meet an imaginary person Thanks. so much. Gross. <laughs> okay. Oh, Saddle oh, shotgun chainsaw. He's disability shady. Gluttony experiments heights rock and conviction. Show me hiring oh, a replacement go, for Ash. Do we go? Do we go <laughs> Jamo, you're next. Jamo's you, got a job you, or no? You, that's oh, what am I doing? Jamo, you're pulling our job. Right, yep. The job is point. competitive eater. Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh man. Who the hell put down chastity belt? Oh, it wasn't, wasn't going to do the trick. There was a lot of weapons in this one. Yeah, there was. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a tough sell. There's a lot of weapons down here. And if the job had been like murderer, we'd have been set. Brass knuckles, cane, cape, chain, yeah, superhero. Ones. Oh, I hope superhero is one of the jobs we see. Competitive eater. Competitive eater. It's like that uh, Japanese guy that used to be able to swallow entire hot dogs, and he's been winning for like years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, he can do an entire hot dog? I thought he like the dipped in small yeah, you dip well, in water. Most of them dipped it in like water. That was a porn I watched. So. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all ready to go here? There's a kubasa. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm happy Terry, with you gotta my... Go first. Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> Alright, so. The job is competitive eating. Gotcha. I'm a giant glutton. Mm, Love yeah. the food. Love to stick it in me. It's great. I have plenty of field experience because I have horribly poor judgment and I eat at all those really shitty carts that you see out on the street. Oh, yeah. So I can eat anything. I mean anything. Okay. And if you totally hire me, I'll take it to Pound Town. <laughs> take it to Pound Town. Okay. I'm sealing the deal with a little yeah, Pound yeah, Town. Yeah, just, uh, hey, send, free food. Send the next candidate in. Right. <laughs> I'm here to apply for the job for competitive eater. But don't you worry. Even though I have false teeth, I don't make excuses. I can do this, because I got the work ethic. And I'll tell you what, I'm probably the only candidate who's licensed to be a competitive oh, eater. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, a strong ooh, candidate. Big dick over here. <laughs> well, I, I'm applying for the position, but I, I kind of want to just share some of my experience. <laughs> right. You know? Your sense of who you are. Right? <laughs> like, I, I don't, not really my qualifications, but the kind of foods and things that I like to eat. Okay. So, I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm, I, I do pr prefer candy. I, I feel like I really excel at competitive candy eating, but uh, not so proud of it. I've done some shady things in the past, and, you know, I would go to some of those underground car. competitive eating scenes. Like, I, I once had to eat 50 cats, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I took the gold medal... Because the next guy only ate 35. And then, <laughs> then I went really extreme in like a really dark place and tried out some cannibalism. <laughs> you totally want me around you. Wow. It kind of right. tastes like chicken, to be honest. You might be overqualified. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You'll eat anything. <laughs> yeah, I do eat anything. But you get cannibal. 50 oh. cats. I should have kept that one. Crap, I lost my order. All right. Okay, I'm here for, uh, um, I'm here for uh, the, the competitive uh, eater. Uh, eater. <clears throat> so my... Can I get a glass of water? <laughs> no, it's... <clears throat> see, the problem... <clears throat> it seems that every time I... <clears throat> sorry, it's dry. Is it dry in here? <clears throat> I come across, like, every problem ever like oh, wow. <coughs> it's almost like a disability of mine is, is my chair broken um but that's okay i can eat anything uh the last guy mm -hmm. i did see before at that underground thing um <laughs> he ate 50 cats which is pretty impressive i topped out at i could only eat the chastity belt okay um it was tough but it feels like I, it kind of settled in my balls. <laughs> okay, it went straight to your balls. Ah, don't you hate it when you got that extra weight? Straight to the balls. Straight to the balls. Because again, I, I suffer from every problem. Right. <laughs> Many, including apparently heavy balls. So heavy. <laughs> Rob is buffering. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what was I going with again? Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> hey, so I'm here for the the competitive eating contest. I saw all the guys that you're hired, the potential well, candidates before, bros. and I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm, a little, like I'm a little nervous. I'll be honest with you, but I, I just want to tell you, like, 
I don't know if they have the chops for it because all of my life I've been going through nothing but difficulty. Growing up, my family had no money, so we literally ate whatever we could get our hands on. Sometimes mom would just pick up rocks on her way home, <laughs> and that was the dinner. It was really, That's really hard. <laughs> growing up, eating that kind of thing is, is really a stressful thing on the stomach. It, it really opens up the cavity in your stomach area to like really fulfill so that you can just stuff anything in there when, when you're getting that hard. It gives you this like just cavernous area to, to fill yourself up with. And like I, I realized that I can eat almost anything because like going through all this, I got really handy with a chainsaw, just like cutting down anything that I could, uh, I could do. I got a little work on the side as well. I went to this underground eating competition and they had to use my chainsaw skills to like saw up cavities and shit and I saw what the people were eating and I knew that that's something that's a job I wanted to have so I'm really hoping that maybe you'll consider me for the position. It seems to be a really tight knit competitive <laughs> eating <laughs> Everybody knows everybody. The underground, the underground competitive yeah, underground eating scene, yeah. is really I think I, I Gonna give Rob a shot just because he has a sad backstory. Oh, <laughs> yes, the sad backstory. Sob story. Overqualified. Sob story. <laughs> See, I should have just put the sex on the table first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm this. I'm a giant, scary slob that'll eat anything. Fuck me. Sometimes oh, mom would just bring home some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the gag reflex would have been a good one in the last sex one. Dead. Sex, sex dead. Sex dead. Sex oh, dead. Fuck me. Screw oh, Scientology. Wow. Self-loathing. This is sexual. Self-respect. Sex dead. Tara, you need to offer us a job. Oh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, this is go. definitely are... alphabetical. Because yeah. I had a lot oh, yeah. of C's last time. All right, uh, gentlemen. Yes. I'm putting up position for psychic. Mm. Oh, son of a... Oh. I'm lose a freaking finger, dude. Uh, what the... <clears throat> That's not going to help me. Oh, I like how you claimed it. Yeah. This is mine. I put my stuff here. Biffcake. Well, that could have been useful last time. Uh, for those at home, Scientology, Ooh. wheelchair, it's sex back. den, club, gag reflex, wasp, scissors, screw, beefcake, mm. and self-entitled. Unless someone grabs something. Mm. It's weirdly quiet. How do I use this? <coughs> I've got... <clears throat> Wet dream. Ah, you did. You did have some sexual cards, didn't you? Yeah. Dang it. Unstable. That's a great. That's what you bring to the, the company. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it kind of fun watching you guys? This like is, what you're picking? Uh, I don't really like this one. I find this one challenging. Oh, we'll fit. Yeah, I'm ready, unless you guys up the ante here. <sighs> and he's ready. Anyone else ready? Rob, you done? Or? Mm-hmm. Moist. <laughs> oh. I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped okay, moist and everybody. Okay, that's a little that moist. <laughs> Damn it. <Ooh. laughs> uh, okay, full discretion, I hate that word. Moist? <laughs> it's just one good. Uh, I don't know. It's so rotten. Okay. I think I'm good. <clears throat> Y'all good? I think so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rob's debating. Utterly adorable. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go with that. Okay. You're calling it? You guys yeah. all good? Yeah. Okay, did I'm you want to grab one? I'm good. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay. So, tell me why you should get the job with Psychic. Hi there. I'm just going to show you my amazing powers. He's going to touch me. I'm detecting an incident where you pretended to be someone else and drove down to Tijuana for some good times in a moist sex den. (laughs) (laughs) What stays in Mexico stays in Mexico unless it itches. Therefore, my powers are shown. (laughs) That's good, that's good. Okay, you're up next. Well, let's be honest. I mean, being a psychic is really just all about screwing people out of their money. 
<laughs> let's let's be honest. I've got this awesome track of an evil laugh for when I'm summoning spirits, and I also have a couple plaything magnets to like scare them a little bit. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Why should I hire you for psychic? <laughs> Hi. 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 Are you always neurotic? Hi. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm here for the wet dream. Uh, I don't know why I'm like the worst, but I fucking just hate this myself. But I think I would be okay at being here for the wet dream. This is right. That's what that sign said, right? Wet dream, because that's what I'm here for. Yes, that's what the sign said. Uh, I think I think I'd just be the worst. I think I'd just be the worst. I think I would just. I think I would just be the wor- I think I I think I would just be the worst. So, but uh, the wet dream, right? That's what this is for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had illiterate, by the way, if you couldn't see that. I read that. Yes, it's the wet dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please, by all means, follow that up. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. So you wish to have a psychic? <laughs> I wish to pay someone to be a psychic first. Let me reach into my mental mind utility belt. <laughs> it allows me it allows me to look deep into your your memories. I see you suffered greatly from st- high student loans. These these troubled you for a long while. You were able to pay them off though. Mm, but you suffered from a strong gambling addiction, but great winnings to provide you to pay off your student loans. But with the gambling addiction, you found yourself to become a sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> as, as all of the other gamblers flocked to you, knowing how much money you had with no student loans. <laughs> I'm a you, sexual T-Rex. You Mr. know I am correct. And that <laughs> is why you know I am the psychic you see. Like, the, the, the student loan is a se- That is a reason to swipe right. <laughs> yeah, Rob, you should have proved student my qualifications by loan. mentioning yeah. the sex yeah. den in Tijuana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by all means. Okay. Wow me. All right, well, I think I should be... Huh? I think I should be hired for, hired for the job, but... Uh, just based on my history of uh, <laughs> predicting the future. When I was a kid, I predicted my massive erotica collection. <laughs> uh, that was a safe bet. I also, I also predicted I would lose all self-respect. <laughs> kind of goes in sync with due that. Due to erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Gag reflex. You predicted this? I predicted I was going to get an erotica collection. <laughs> I predicted Didn't that see the erectile yeah. collection. There's a lot of sex cards in this psychic job. Tara, who do you want to uh, give the job to? Fuck me. Um, damn it. What are we applying for again? Oh, I, a wet dream, oh, I think. <laughs> applying for a wet dream. Shit. Oh, my God. <clears throat> They're really fair. You're a quack. You don't have any real powers. Not really. He's all, uh, he, he's uh, smoking mirrors. It was like really friggin' funny, and what's with all the fucking sex ones? I'm gonna go with the moist sex den, because he wants one. In the face of Mark, moist. You're 100% well right. I was gonna do that, and I forgot. Yeah. Like, reach back, and like, I see. The reach back. I see your, Tijuana. I see Tijuana. You behave like a sexual, sexual tyrannosaurus <laughs> in a moist sex den. <laughs> moist. You won despite using the word moist. Well, yeah. here we got some right. S's like again. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, you didn't want these ones? Merit badge, know. medicine, massage, oh, magnum. We got the M's now. Magic wand, mace, ones. Oh. lust, loose, lisp, sheltered. Sheltered does not really fit in with the rest. So. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a few minutes to look at your cards. A few minutes to look <clears throat> at your cards. I need to know the job. Ladies and gentlemen, limited time offering <clears throat> for a professional athlete. Mm. I knew you were going to take that. Mm. <laughs> well, you are the psychic. The psychic powers. <laughs> Tr- 
press. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No. Hmm. Mm. Professional athletes. Oh my god. <clears throat> mm hmm. I like how the words are like saggy, comb over, lust, mace, massage oil. So everybody's good then? Nope. Everybody's good then? No. How about now? Slightly move the card. The, uh, the job offer is closing soon. Please get your uh, resumes in. Get your resumes in order. Scented candle hits the table, along with the scalpel. Oh, quick swap yeah. for oh. massage what oil. Did you draw? Braces, Braces hits the table and quickly snatched up. Color commentary is great. That trench coat hits the table. It's my air conditioner starting. We know. Well, Mark looked concerned. Or a gunfire. Mm. All right. In five, four. I don't think it's getting better. Three. No, I don't think it's getting any better. Magnum hits the table. Yeah, Magnum. I'm all over that. Tasteless hits the table. Three, two, one. Wow me. Fancy. Professional act. Oh boy. Um. <clears throat> Who applies to be a professional athlete? Okay, Winners. Become one. Um, so, uh, I think I'd be a good candidate to be a professional athlete. For thinking about, like, selling me as an image, I got a great backstory. I lived a really sheltered childhood. Um, it was actually kind of sad, to be honest, because I grew up with a bit of a lisp, but I overcame it, you know? And that's what you got to do to be a professional athlete. You got to overcome those challenges. Um, unfortunately, I got drunk one night and got a tramp stamp, so that's kind of like this permanent mark of regret that I got. But it can all work, you know? We could we could put the logo on some shirts, and my tramp stamp could be a logo on a shirt. We could sell a lot of stuff about that with my sad Sheltered, <laughs> sad childhood. Okay. okay. Uh, all mean, right. I think I'm ready to hear the next <clears throat> candidate. Fans love an underdog with a tramp stamp. That's right. Especially when he's running the 10 meter dash. He's got his bum in the air. You're like, oh, slut, huh? I, I, I'm pretty much perfect, but no big deal. Like, it's not, not, you know, choose whatever. But I'm, I'm the role. Like, it's pretty much me. So, the reason I know that is uh, I'm really big into health foods and I'm really healthy. Um, I really like, uh, like all that nouveau, like trendy stuff right now. And I really stumbled across it when I came across my, an organic opium den a couple of years ago. Uh, oh. and that really expanded my brain, um, to, you know, something pretty cool if you wanted that, but like no big deal. You, you seem like a pretty smart guy with that hair like that, but it's not, not, uh, whatever. Um, so but the real big reason, uh, I, I'm fit and I, I got, a, uh, a really, Amazing smile. <laughs> Serial killer. Okay, thanks. But choose whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, well, I'm just going to hear a few no other candidates and, and we'll let you know. <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> hey, you looking for a professional athlete? Look, professional athlete? That's me. You know you want me. <sighs> Oh, excuse me, sorry. You know, because you know that you want me. You know that you want me. You want me so bad, so hard you want me. It's like, you know why you want me? You want me because I got I got this gift that no other athletes have, man. It's, it's just this hard, hard gift that just no one else has. You know what I call it? I call it my magic wand. It's my magic wand because I go out on the field and I control it. I control the field. The field is mine. I call my magic wand my treasure. It's absolutely the greatest thing, the greatest gift that anybody could have had is mine. But you got any massage oil? Because I'm a little chapped right now, and that's just, you know, I, I just I think about it a little too much sometimes. But it's it's why I know I'm I'm gonna be the professional athlete. <laughs> Write me down a scarouse. It's a man some yeah. massage oil for his magic Ooh. wand. His right. magic wand named the treasure. Treasure. The treasure. treasure. <laughs> Fuck me. Am I applying to you? Yeah. Okay. 
You see this? <laughs> this is what it's all about. This gold cross protects me day in, day out. <clears throat> Every time I set out on the field, I can trust in the Lord above. And that's how I destroy my opponents. They call me the Magnum because I fly like a bullet. Faster than a speeding bullet, even. <laughs> Some might say. Uh, I have been known to injure myself on the field in the past. Some might call me a Band-Aid, but in this day and age, there's plenty of medicine. Just pump it in me until I can't feel anything, and I'm back out on the field. <laughs> I like your, like your attitude. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you play football? I don't, but I wish I did. Totally could. Oh my god. All right, so you're trying to get a professional athlete. They need dedication. They need to be like focused on one thing. So when I spent my entire childhood trapped in the closet, <laughs> I really, really focused on wanting to get out there. The reason why I was in there is my mom believed that I suffer from the original sin. He could tell you about that stuff because you know. Yep. But to come over that and my leg braces, I ran and I ran. I ran all the way. My name was Forrest, by the way. I'm sorry about that. But I got a merit badge for running so damn good. So I am an excellent athlete. Oh, man. This is a tough call. Merit badge is a solid qualification. I think that libido's going all the way to the top. Right? Yeah. you got to take this. Damn it. I'm a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. <laughs> oh, my God. I was kind of concerned for the table for a moment there. Mm -mm. You don't need it anymore. No. Last round. Are we on? Oh boy. <laughs> Lots of S cards coming out. Yep. S&M. All right, we got Room to Grow, Green Card, Rum, Russian Accent, S&M, Jazz Hands, Topless, Black Hole, Black Belt, and Greed. Well then. <laughs> All right, candidates. Uh, we are uh, placing an ad because we are looking for our new proctologist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, that's the one I want, JMO. Do it. Uh, shoot. What the hell? Hey, who's here. got the card? Who's got five? I do. Swag. I also have swag. Robin, have you switched? I'm debating <laughs> trying to use all my original cards, and there's not a lot that'll actually switch with these that uh, would make it better. Yeah. Hmm, drives a good one. Oh, spray is better. Is it? <laughs> not with these cards. <laughs> For proctologists, spray kind of concerns me. Yeah. We're just gonna spray some stuff up there. Oh, steroids. Spray and steroids kind of go together. Topless. Yeah, it's probably a good drop. <clears throat> and everybody's feeling pretty good about things. Yeah, I'm alright. Um, no, I need that card, but I'm not trying to get rid of it. Job posting's going to be closing up <laughs> fairly soon. Done. All right. All right, applicants. Corey, let's hear what you got to uh, say about this position. <clears throat> well, uh, to start off, I'd like to say thanks for taking the time. This is really important to me and my future, as this job could help me stay in the country a little bit longer. Hmm. Now, to give you my qualifications, I know lots about down there. And, uh, like, one example is this one time I got an STD <laughs> from eating some edible underwear that had a heavy flow on it. Uh. <laughs> and that really messed me up. But I overcame it mm -hmm. through some research, and it's all good now. <laughs> okay. Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate that. Do we have Next, any more please. <laughs> 
Uh, hi there, I'm here for the role of the proctologist. Why the hell do you think you're gonna get the role of the proctologist? Uh, yeah, so I'm just, I wanted, I was really thinking that, uh, I would, I would get this job. Man, when we drove over here, do you think you were gonna get this job? So, like, I think that I'm really qualified for the role that you're looking for. When we bought that damn sports car, is this the role that you thought you'd be doing? Like, so, uh, I mean, I, I think that, uh, uh, when you learn to defuse bombs, this is not the type of dark, dank hole that you thought you'd be going into. So, uh. Uh, I really hope that you'd consider me for the job. Uh, that would be really great. Thanks. You have a strong, independent yeah, side exactly. personality. You don't need no, don't need no man like yourself. Oh, All right, I'm up. Next, please. Okay, you are for proctologists. You look for someone for your hole, yes? Mm, yeah. yeah. I, Not my hole. I have but... experience, very much experience with, with the hole. I have your black hole spray stool everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I hired, yes? I hired, yes? <laughs> 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 Alright. Okay, hi. I'm like here for the proctologist, whatever. Um, my best feature is the fact that I perform topless, so it makes people a little bit more relaxed about getting things stuck in their pee hole. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a black belt in handling taints. And people get really concerned <laughs> about like things going in there, right? They're like <laughs> totally afraid of getting things oh. like <laughs> okay. stuck. So uh -huh. you have nothing to worry about. I don't I'll be a little bit mm. calm and relaxed and very painless because I have amazing jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a white belt in <laughs> <clears throat> All right, listen, I want to show you why I'm qualified for the job as a proctologist. I have spent the last 20 years heavily into s and I know all about <laughs> tying people up, exploring spaces, all that stuff. But listen, I still got room to grow, okay? Okay, I'm not, I'm not at the top. I just a lot of experience in the s and 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 there's one thing I really know uh, is the bunghole. Uh, and, and how to put things in there because uh, there was one time uh, because of my drug habit I had to smuggle steroids up my ass <laughs> <laughs> So I'm the guy you're looking for okay, okay. Oh fuck there were some good ones um, Oh my gosh hmm. <laughs> I like I think I think I want to trust my patience with the black belt in taint. Yes! <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. oh, Alright, that's it for this episode of House Rules here on Techie Gamers. That was fun like employed. That. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Proctologist. That was good. I like that. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, share, call us out on a rule we broke. I can't see us doing that unless we weren't supposed to clear the stuff, but and whatever. We already called that, sure though. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure we found There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, like, share, go to patreon.com slash techiegamers, throw us a couple bucks, uh, get all perks and goodies. We post every Monday on youtube.com slash techiegamers, um, every at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Or go to techiegamers.com for magic unicorns. We'll see you next time.